Okay, so let's get back. No. Did we just we learned her name right last session? My curtain peeled. I'm already revealing this is a new day. <laughs> That's always the fear of it. Is always like, oh god, will I remember how to navigate this place and all the the things I was juggling? It's really perfect if you could finish a whole a whole game in one sitting, but that's almost never a thing you can do. Nineveh, your name is Nineveh. Yes. <laughs> no. Show me the blade, while the pain of my name is still sharp. As sharp as tragedy, huh? Let's see what it can cut. Oop. Thank you. That was kind of... That was a little sweet at the end. Yeah. The delivery of like, as sharp as tragedy, huh? It was like a little like glib and like dismissive of like the agonizing pain this character's in. Yeah. But then they kind of brought it back. I, I take it they're dead. Leave me. I do wonder what I'm doing to these people. It can't be great, right? Using their souls as a, a fuel. Yeah, I got stuck here before. I think the response to make is to go back the way you came, as opposed to going forward. Like, I went forward and got stuck because I couldn't click on whatever to, wherever I wanted to go next. So does the knife cut through here? It does. What is the knot? Hair. Am I a Loki? It feels like real hair, but it's made of gold. Yeah, that's we're back to Norse again. Is she hell? Or something? Yeah, we're back to another Norse thing where, uh... God. Was it Thor's... Was it Thor's wife? I believe there was a goddess that Loki stole the hair from, so she was bald. And like many th th things Loki does, immediately everyone's mad at him and then he has to fix it. So it's really like a self-created problem where he keeps creating problems for himself to resolve and so on. It happens over and over again. And that's the primary story that the three... I believe it was the three blacksmiths are from. Which, I don't remember if they were always dwarves, but they were, uh, they're at least characterized as dwarves in God of War. I don't remember if they were dwarves in the Neil Gaiman story, the adaptation, and I don't remember if they were dwarves from the get-go or not. But, um... The, the blacksmiths kept making these remarkable contraptions and whatnot. Like, you had a... Is it Draupnir? Was the golden armlet that would create a copy of itself every... I don't know, day or something? And so it was like infinite gold and so on. And like, there's these, all these different incredible inventions. And one of them was uh, gold hair to replace the hair that was stolen from that goddess. So she had gold hair. Yes, we're, we're getting there again. Did you really think you could cut through this knot that easily? 
All you're doing is raveling and unraveling the same sorry thread that's guided you through the maze of a miserable life. How many times do you need to be told? This ends at the top of the park. This ends at the top of the park. Are we getting near the end? I don't know. You do a bunch of things to all culminate in a big piece of progress, and then you do that again. Uh, the same roller coaster twice, I guess. Once just to get the permission, the second time I need to get the fuel to get up there. Anytime I go up there, it feels like it could be the ending, but it could just be at the beginning of the next problem again. So is my new knife enough to cut through here? No, not myself. <laughs> Ah. It's big enough to squeeze through now. The knife was like not strong enough or something before. God. Watch us sway a shapely legs. Stare in a shining eye. And touch her tender lips. I hate her. <laughs> Do not like this. Also a bit reminiscent now because the the Elden Ring trailer came out and this Amalgamation of limbs is reminiscent of some things. Who would want to shine a light on that? Not much of a crowd. Well, yeah, it was sealed. Who would Don't be shy? She won't bite. I think she will. What is this? She'll almost certainly something. Mouth question mark? There's an eye in there. Keep opening and closing. I get the weird feeling that it wants me to touch it. Eh. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Is like a combination? I can't get it to open. Hair? That's not Would you like to eat some hair, you nightmare? I don't need the target practice. You wanna throw rocks at it? Uh meat in mouth? Ah! Gulp that meat right down. No. I'm out of meat, though. What, do I need enough meat for every mouth or something? Hair? Yeah, he doesn't want hair. To damage the eye. Acid. <laughs> torch. Sometimes a torch can solve any problem, but not today. But not today. I'm pretty sure it's not interested in selling me anything. Do I just need to come back after I get five more pieces of meat? That seems kind of repetitive. I don't know. God, what a nightmare. To shine a light on no that's not the exit that gives you a better perspective of how big the inside of that tent was can I just ask for a bunch of meat at once maybe bread please I have nothing to say to um Oh, a montage. Okay. Okay. I really got worried for a second there. I'm like, are you gonna make me do this six times? <laughs> Surely not. 
One more should do it. Oh, look at that. Get it! Um, lend me your eye? Uh... Well, I'd like to never be here again, bye. Hey guy, good news. Seems you could use this. You might want this. Do I? We shall see, eh? Yes, exactly. Ah! It's good to see through another's eye. Though the world is still as it was. Thank you for that gift. Ah, uh, it sticks out of his eye socket. <laughs> it's too big. Why does he sit under an eye? Does he know he sits under an eye? A little on the nose or on the uh, uh, eye. It doesn't work that way. So, uh, how's the eye? It serves well enough, and the world looks a bit less dark than it was before. Goodbye. <sighs> he can probably write wings now, right? A G. My wing. Huh? Wing. Um. No, don't kill him. I see you. No. Oh, well, that's... Yep. I'm like, that raven's gonna get that eye. His last testament. He's writing wings so I could solve a puzzle. Well, that's a bummer. He's my only friend. What did he see in the end? Death? What did... He gave him vision just long enough for him to die. You really are just causing people's deaths by solving... by chasing this one person. Yeah. What of it? I'm the Reaper Man. I'm the one who reaps. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to do this, huh? How many... I don't know what my count is actually right now. I thought that she was my fifth. No, no, no. Don't you see? At last, I was truly in the dark. A world without words, or memories, or visions. With nothing but the sound of dove's wings. Please, won't you let me go back? I'm gonna... Whoa. This tree's burning. Uh... <laughs> nope. Nope. Can't help but think we're doing a bit of a Ragnarok right about now. Oh, do I use the hair to make golden wings? I hope I'm doing the right thing. For the last time, I bid you stand aside. Behold the wings, fit for one who would soar and glide. My last, best work. Even he seems to know it's over. Why? Oh, he's dead. Hello? 8-3? He's dead. Oh. He said, uh, for as long as it lasts... Is he just, I guess he's just gone? Like he knew that the, this new life was temporary? 
that I gave him via his own fire. The other raven's gone. Flew away the moment I came back. I guess they were Odin's ravens and now they've left. Can I fly over there? With the wings? It's too far off. Yeah, that's why I got wings. Was that not clear? I... There's like hardly anyone left, right? Maybe just the clown door that mocks me? Oh hey, you, you guys are still here. Please don't die immediately. I know I'm in trouble if I fly into the air. What exactly am I doing? Giving the old girl- Goodbye. Yeah, I've got two souls, but I only needed one. Whoops. It worked. You may have been able to leave somebody alone, or maybe you'll need it later. Here we go again. Aren't the tracks destroyed though? So I'm just gonna I'm gonna need the wings, right? No! <laughs> now they're dead, probably. Time to walk, I guess. But they seem to see this all as a wacky play, so... Maybe they really do exist outside of all this. I need to put them on first. Mm, I'll need a little more elevation. What do you mean by that? Neat. Oh. Wow, he's horrible. Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna eat me. He's gonna eat me. Throw a rock. It's a rock. Throw the rock. Stab. Claw. Okay, uh, acid bottle. Uh, acid? There you go. Oh, th th thanks for putting me back down. That was nice of you. Uh, the fuck? Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm scared. Uh, stab? Nope. Oh, he's grabbed me again. Nope, no, no, no. That was a failure state. Well, that was abrupt. What an instantaneous turn. Your life. Still going, huh? I'll give you a hint. Don't trust the crow. <laughs> I knew it was a crow. See? It's revealed. They were lying all along. They were they were a crow. And that was the only lie they told. Are they all dead here? Oh. What an abrupt failure. Like, oh wow, look at my big, beautiful, glorious golden wings. And that was about 0.5 seconds of success and instantaneously you crash into a giant nightmare crowd. I'm like, wow, not even a moment of glory. They're far too heavy for me. There really is nothing inside them now. They did kill me once, huh? Yeah. I guess there's nothing left of them. Nothing. They really were always a void. I'm running out of characters. 
There is a d uh, game design like elegance to it in that if you keep killing off all the characters, then it really helps simplify the number of loose ends. So if you get stuck, you don't have to sit there and like ask the same. Oh fuck! Getting stuck in a big loop of trying the same, uh, talking to everybody and checking every location over and over again because you're trying to figure out why you can't continue in, in an adventure game can be a real rough loop. It's out of reach. It's out of. Fuck. I don't think it. It's out of. Ah. Uh. uh. Oh. Oh, there I go dying again. Did I just... Was that a Jordan Peterson achievement? <laughs> I said consider the crab. What the hell is going on? Oh! Don't tell me you're expecting a joke! Fine! Don't worry, it's all in your... Head. Sometimes oh. you fall behind, sometimes you get a... Ahead. Wow, you're really in over your... Head. <sighs> you know, the thing is, it's never clear till the end. Head. <laughs> Whether something's a comedy... Or a tragedy. If the Reverend Doctor only brings the good word, Juliet wakes up in Romeo's arms. Head. And if he doesn't, never was a story of more woe. Ahead. <laughs> God, what a fucking nightmare. I don't like this. That was definitely a mad scramble of just throw every single possible item you can at him and just hope you figure it out. There was even like a, a culmination of like, or like the weird moment of like almost a contradiction of like, uh, uh, it's out of reach. But then like a moment later, you throw your knife, and it's like, oh yeah, it's out of reach, huh? Okay, but it's fine. You only have like a handful of items, and the coin and the rock are not likely to be relevant. So you pretty much just mash them and hope for the best, and it worked out. Well, I guess that's where my head ended up. Now I'm just a jacket. Hey, over here. Is that Crispin? Thank God. That's my head. I get so you're the one that's been calling me on the phone this whole time, right? You've got to get me out of here. We need to get back to her. We were so close, and then the dark thing did whatever it did, and ever since. I've just been... stuck. Seriously, just smash the glass and help. I don't know how this happened. It feels like I've been in here a long time, but I can't remember how I got here. Was it you who put me here? No, I can't believe that. Listen, we need to reconnect. This situation, this separation, it isn't good for either of us. Mansana and Corpore Sano and all that. Don't look at me. I'm stuck in a box. You need to walk around, see where we are, and figure out how to get back to where we should be. Are you... Are you alright? Just take care of yourself. Ourself. Myself. It's time for you to get to work. Well, how many more of my own head am I gonna meet? This is... oh. So we've been getting glimpses this whole game of this other world whenever I use the torch. Now it looks like I'm there just all the time. So those weren't just one-off... It, it did strike me as like a lot of work to make an entire alternate world version of each room just for that one scene each time, but I guess that's because they're, we actually navigate that world. Something that happens when I don't have my head. Ah, uh, that bird also has my head. Okay. How do I even know which one's mine at this point? It's a raven with a shrunken version of my head. And it won't talk to me. 
dick move. Bit out of place. The shell phone. How can I possibly use it without a head? I don't know, you just press buttons, someone says stuff at you, that person says stuff at you, you never know what they might say to you. It's useful information. I have no items. Jump in the hole? Wait! Don't leave me here! Okay, well I How do I break it? The glass is too thick for me to break with my hands. I guess you're gonna have to use your head. <laughs> that goes nowhere. It's like a cross between a croquet mallet, a shillelagh, and a nightmare. <laughs> oh no, that's the worst part. Totally empty. Oh. That's me. Gee, thanks. I hadn't noticed it was missing. Oh, the head is... yeah. That's not a real head. Yeah, I know, it's a... it's a... drawing. How do you see? Actually, uh, nice to meet you. How you doing? Nothing but darkness down there. The strobe skull seems friendly. Ask him how his family's doing. How are the kids? Okay. Carnival game changed a bit. There's still tents out there. That tent looks more like some kind of swollen growth. Uh, yeah, it's it's looking pretty intense. Eh. The webs are too thick and strong. I can't break through them. There's something back there behind the webs. Hmm. Well, I have one item. It's the wrong tool for the job. It's the only way we got. Just turn that screw into a nail, because you've got a hammer, not a screw device. <laughs> Human skulls in another kind of shooting gallery, except without any gun. I, I can't reach the skulls, and there's no gun to shoot them with. Just beat them? It's not long enough to reach them. How? They're right there. Okay, so I guess some I guess I get some kind of gun for that. Oh, it's me. I'm getting Is someone there? Or is it just the wind? If If he's still just I'm still shouting words myself. It's all me now. Everyone's me. You're God, that's gross. That's definitely some kind of like leech or that one fucked up thing the ocean has that I forgot what it's called. Eh. It's another raven that looks like me. Plan. I know the one fucked up thing in the ocean is not a very good thing of loose of, of narrowing down things in the ocean. He is. If your plan is It's some kind of drainage bowl or bowel. Uh. Your plan is two. two. It's part of the structure, or whatever this is. I think I preferred the noose. Yeah, that thing's pretty horrible. Yeah. All right. He got me. That was pretty abrupt. All right. I think I had the right reflex. Th oh, yeah, I should probably pick up the rocks. They were helpful last time. Got to remember that I don't have them again. I, uh, yeah, that came as a bit of a surprise. My first reflex seeing that thing was definitely that it was, like, the alien from Aliens or something. Like, the, uh, it had, like, this gross, like, acid, xenomorph kind of feel to it. And I guess, yeah, there, there even was, like, the dick snakes in, uh, Prometheus. But, uh, yeah, no, that's acid. Correct thought. Mm -hmm.